Hey guys, it's Elle. And Em. And welcome back to Cranberry Creatures. Today we'll be discussing a creature called Fossa in North America and then pronounced Fusta in Madagascar. Or Fossae or something for plural. It's kind of confusing. That's a lot. I... So it's Fossa, Fusa, if you're actually saying it right, and then Fossae. Fossae might be like the plural. Let's talk about Fossae. Anyways, so they're <laughs> carnivore creatures. Um, they can eat uh, fish, birds, but they mainly eat lemurs, and they prefer the big ones. So the largest one, which is they are the only carnivores on the island to do that. Oh, wait, they're so King literally... of Madagascar. King Julian of Madagascar. So they literally eat the lemur. <laughs> they literally eat the lemurs. Yeah, they mainly eat lemurs. So... Um, but they're like cat-like weasel <sighs> things, but they aren't cats at all, and they're really related to mongoose or mongooses i think it's mongooses but that's like that's like yeah crazy man they, yeah wait is it like one fusa per lemur or do they do they one like fusa. four of them well, per lemur because I, mean, I feel normally, like they're the same they, size they are solitary creatures so they're like by themselves majority of the time but so like they're independent sometimes like males will like gang up with the boys and like go Hell hunting parties let's go with the boys yeah that's horrible. Yeah. Well, they also, um, they adapted to climbing trees. They have, like, claws. So they're literally lemurs. They're the they're cat almost, lemur. Yeah, they're, like, the cat version of a lemur. They're, they can, like, they have, like, semi-retractable claws things, so they're only partially out so they can climb trees, and then their ankles are, like, really flexible. Their ankles. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> you okay. got my ankles. Yeah, they only live in Madagascar, unless they're, like, go to a museum or something, but, like... They only live in Madagascar. They only live in Madagascar it's like an unless island. you go to a museum where they're dead. Well, oh, oh, thanks, okay, L. thanks. Anyways, uh, but they mainly because they don't like being anywhere where humans have been or anything. So they like untouched forest. There are humans on Madagascar. Yes, I know, but they like go to like areas where they aren't there because they don't like people. It's a little same. Anyways, so um, I'm like depression. They're all pretty much the same color. They're like brownish. Orange-ish. So they're all brown. They're not cool like the lemurs they literally eat. Yeah, not like the last one we did with the golden yellow. Anyways, um, they are around 20 pounds. About 20 pounds? Around 20 pounds. Y'all can do can some curls. they can reach two and a half feet long. And, well, that's not including the tail. Including the tail, probably around six feet. Six feet long, including the tail. Yeah. That's a whole, that's, I wasn't even ready. Their tail is, is yeah, the whole length of, is longer than their body. Pretty much. Well, I mean, it's, well, uh, their it's body is, it's like, like it's, it's about six feet. It's not, like, exactly six feet. All right, so, I'm gonna go with what I said, because I thought that was smart. Okay. All right, it's well, two and a, okay. just leave it alone. I think they're large. They their are tail large. is large. They're Chubby kitty. Chubby kitty. All right. They're not cats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, well, for reproduction, the female will actually wait in the tree for all of the males. And her scent will lead a bunch of males to her. And this little dancey dance lasts around two hours. Because, again, she's going to mate with every single male. That's a long dance party. And that's a lot of dance partners. That's that's gotta hurt. Also, you can find out more imp- information about reproduction stuff like that. There's a link in the description that leads to this great video where they have so much information, and she really goes into how unique the Fusa actually are when it comes to these kinds of things. So credit to them. Cause... But also, but also, there's a lot of folklore. There's a lot of folklore. Yeah. Tell me about that, please. So, um, with Africa, they blue. They really believe in like black magic, so that's linked to them a lot. Like, Jakey. they like what? Anyway, so they like, <laughs> like they think they ate their relatives or something. So that that's cursed. There's also some folklore where they like come in and lick you, and then you're forever cursed. Um, Dude. <laughs> And then there's another one. Oh, it's that's just Timmy. That the he... scent of the fossa kills poultry. Yeah, and, Man. and the animal can contract its eye pupils so that they will disappear completely. Wait, so they're... I don't know so... if it's like their eyes disappear or like their whole self disappears. They they literally just like shunk the eyes and then they're gone. Magic and cloak. There's another one that says the fossa creeps in into homes and steals babies from their cribs. Man, that'll really keep you tucked in at night. Why would you... Are you going to tell your baby that? They oh, yeah. don't understand what you're saying. 
Watch out, bad kitty, bad chubby cat. It's not a cat. Watch out for that mongoose. He'll come get you because you know what I'm saying. Thing. He eats Why lemurs that are bigger so than you. So it's a you. mongoose, but it looks like a cat. Yeah, it's like a cat weasel thing looking monkey. But Whenever it's someone actually says mongoose, mongoose. I think of a goose. Yeah, I think of a goose. Like a mom goose instead right, well, of a mongoose. Glad we're on the same page. That's, okay. Back to the witch, the witching hour. The witching um, hour. Yeah, but I feel like, yeah. So back to licking their face. It's like they also put you in a deep trance. If that's like they're hypnotic. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. They really are witches. They're. So do they get the power from the lemurs? I'm assuming. I mean, they're eating something. No, that they looks... get it because they're just like carnivores and stuff like that. They get it because they they're. Well, they also kitty. are day and night animals. Day they're... and night. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so, um, <laughs> like, they're nocturnal, and they are awake during the day, so that's also probably why it's so, hard to find them, because... Wait, so they're some awake be, during the day, and well, awake during the night? Well, they probably, like, different ones have different schedules, like, whenever they want, because... I, I make my own schedule. Because okay. why not? All right. And they can also travel up to 60 miles in a day. That's, that's great. Thank you. Probably to go catch those lemurs. Yeah, they're only, they're only 20 pounds, which I don't know if that's big for a cat, is it? They're burning. Yeah. It's big for a cat? It's yeah. definitely big okay. for a cat. Well, they go up to 60 miles a day, so it's fine. Wow. And they're just on Madagascar, so. King of Madagascar. Well, I guess, is that. That's all. That's it for the FASA? The FUSA? Yep. Okay, well, thanks, guys. Ciao.